Now that we're going to be, oh, some more even. Yeah, thank you. That's good. Now that we're going to be streaming live every Sunday, until further noted, we wanted to make sure that we gave you some e-giving uh, reminders and how we're going to be doing our tithes and offerings. Next slide, please. So this first slide you're going to see again at the end, but what I want you to, to look at is the e-giving itself. You're going to be able to either follow this link that you see on the screen, or you're going to also be able to use a electronic device, iPad, tablet, cell phone to get the app for a QR code and scan that, and it'll also take you to our e-giving. And, of course, you can always mail your check. And if at any time after we go through this presentation uh, you have any questions, please feel free to contact the office or you can call me directly if you'd like anytime. Uh, my number's in the directory. But always, always, when in doubt, call the office. Also, when we finish this presentation, we will be pulling it off of this live streaming service and putting it on the website, on the home website for you, so that you can view it at any time you want after this service. Next slide. So this is what the website will look like when you follow that link that you just saw on the slide with the orange clusters. You'll see the green arrow now. Just click that link, and it'll take you to the page where you're going to do your setup or log in if you already have an account. Next slide. The slide that you're seeing now is when you follow the link and click on that link, you're going to see this donation setup page. And there are four, th you'll see one through four. If you're already a person, if you already created a profile, you just go and put your email address in and your password and log in. If you need to create an account, then you're going to go to number two. And the reason I have number two highlighted is because this is the one that allows you to provide a reoccurring um, scheduled event so that you can kind of set it and forget it, if you will, but not really. Uh, you're just going to go in and you're going to provide a profile and schedule your event, whether it's monthly, whether it's weekly, or even one time. And the third one you see, you can do a one-time donation where you can actually track your, you can track your givings, or you can do the fourth one where you just simply give one time, any time, and you don't have to worry about tracking it. Uh, can you go back one slide? So I want you to pay close attention to the green boxes where it says login, the dashed ones where it says create profile. You're going to be clicking on those each and every time to follow to the next step, okay? So go ahead and create a profile. Now, you see the star cluster in the upper left hand here of the screen? That's the QR code. So if you were to not follow the link, but you were to use your electronic device and scan the barcode, this is what you will see on your device, this, metal pic this middle picture here. And it's the same as what you saw on the computer slide as well. It's, just, it's the same look, but it's just smaller, obviously. Next slide. So let's create a profile. Go ahead and put your email address in there, confirm it, and click continue. You're going to put your profile information, name, last name, address, follow all those things. Phone number is optional. You're going to put your email address in there, and you're going to confirm your email address. You're going to create yourself a password. Make sure you just follow the password requirements. And then you're going to click Create Profile. Now, if you already had an existing account, you could use the second and third My Schedule Transactions and My Transaction History. But if you're creating it for the first time, like I was, you're not going to see anything there. So what you'll do is you see the dashed green line. You're going to Add Transaction. Once you add Transaction, you're going to see a page just like this. Now, where you see the green boxes and below that, I have already populated some numbers. These are not recommended dollar amounts. These are just showing you as examples. So these are just examples. The general operating fund is exactly what you would do if you were passing the plate here at church. That's the general operating fund. You also have various other options you can choose from. Community outreach, youth ministry, port. Now, the above and beyond is exactly what it means. If you want to do a special offering for something above and beyond the norm, you just have to fill in what that is you want us to do. Sanctuary renovations is an example, but there are many you can use. Bibles, new chairs, wh whatever you choose you'd like to donate to. That's what that's for. Uh, church other, obviously, could be an example, and it's just an example, is School Resurrection Lutheran Church, or our church. Our school, rather. 
Um, and then you'll notice, depending on whether it's $5, $10, whatever you feel prayerful, your prayerful consideration is to give, there will be a total. Again, these are just examples, not recommendations. There'll be a total. Then you're going to pick the donation frequency. Uh, and you're going to pick, uh, go back one slide real quick. And you're going to pick a calendar date, and then you're going to click continue. There are your options for your donation frequency, one time, weekly, or monthly. Again, click continue. Now you're going to be choosing whether it's going to be credit card, debit card, or checking or savings that you can get your draw from, which can do you your schedules, whether it's monthly, weekly, or one time. And you're going to click process. This is the checking example. Follow, the pro pro follow all the information and then click process. This is the savings example with the routing number and the account number. Again, looking to the right, all of the things that you've put in there, if it's just a one-time one or otherwise donation, it'll all be on the right. Go ahead and click process. This is a credit and debit card example. Again, also notice the little green check. It says, I'm not a robot. It may require you to check that, okay? Just make sure you do that. That just lets them know that someone's not doing it for you, an automated system, and that it's you. And then click process. Again, this is an e-giving reminder. Now that we're not going to be in church uh, for the, at least the next four weeks until further noted with this coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, please use the slide. And remember, you can also always call the church if you have any questions, um, or you can look me up in the directory and call me. And we will pull this off of this brief, and it will be available for you anytime. Thank you, and God bless.